a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Mike Wilsey Michael Robert Wilsey was an Australian television journalist, interviewer and presenter. Wilsey came to prominence in 1967 as a reporter for the ABC's new nightly current affairs program This Day Tonight, where his aggressive style quickly earned him a reputation as a fearless political interviewer. Career Wilsey figured prominently in the controversy that erupted over the decision in early 1967 by the Liberal government, led by Prime Minister Harold Holt, not to reappoint the ABC chairman Dr James Darling. This decision was rumoured to have been the result of the government's anger over critical coverage of its policies on the ABC. Wilsey's own critical comments about the decision on TDT on 2 April further angered Holt, who questioned the ABC's impartiality and implied that Wilsey was politically biased. Holt's remarks backfired, as they provoked strong protests from both Wilsey and the Australian Journalists Association. After TDT, Wilsey hosted the ABC's flagship current affairs program Four Corners from 1969 to 1971. He then moved to the Nine Network, where he hosted A Current Affair when it debuted in 1971. He later left Nine for a role as news and current affairs director at the Zero Ten Network, where he also presented a weekly interview program. He joined the Seven Network in 1975 and hosted the first Australian version of This Is Your Life. He also presented a nightly current affairs program called Wilsey at Seven which claimed a victory over a current affair in the same time slot and led to that program being axed in 1978. Wilsey at Seven later to become Wilsey 81 and Wilsey 82 before it ended in 1982, but Wilsey began to produce documentaries for the network. He was known for a long-running friendship with a disabled boy named Quentin Kennehan, who had osteogenesis imperfecta. He was also known for sparring with the Orange People, who recruited in Australia during the 1980s. In 1987 the Committee of Skeptical Inquiry presented Wilsey with the Responsibility and Journalism Award. He returned to Nine in 1984 to revisit the nightly current affairs genre with Wilsey as well as producing specials for the network, winning a Logie for Most Popular Documentary in 1986. One of the most significant interviews conducted by Wilsey was the famous birthday cake interview in 1993, with then leader of the Liberal Party, John Hewson. With the 1993 federal election to take place in only 10 days, Wilsey asked Hewson numerous questions about the proposed goods and services tax that the coalition wished to introduce. Hewson struggled to answer the simple question of whether a birthday cake would cost more or less under his government as a result of the GST. Wilsey's unrelenting questioning along with Hewson's indecisive answers and his frequent stuttering made it appear that Hewson had little understanding of one of his own major policies. Hewson would go on to lose the election against Paul Keating, and the coalition would remain out of government for a further three years. Many political analysts believed that the interview cost Hewson's chance of winning what his supporters dubbed the unlosable election. However, Others counter that opinion polls held up until Election Day still predicted a coalition victory. In 1993, Wilsey received public outrage for his controversial action of interviewing, via phone, two young children, a brother 11 and his sister 9 who were being held hostage. Many held the opinion that his actions were reckless and endangered the children's lives. This event was subsequently parodied by ABC TV's Frontline where main character Mike Moore interviewed a gunman and his hostage daughter. In the final scene of this episode, Mike interviews, live on air, another gunman in another siege who, much to Mike's horror, subsequently shoots each of his hostages, the sounds of which are played live across Australia. Wilsey is remembered by many Australians for the night when, filling in for Jenna went on a current affair, he fronted the show while appearing to be under the influence of alcohol. He claimed he was on medication, tired and emotional. In his 50s Wilsey rediscovered the Roman Catholic faith of his upbringing. He has reported on religious topics and in 1998 he made a report entitled Signs from God on the Appearance of Stigmata Displayed by a Woman, Catchy Rivers, in Bolivia. This documentary was watched by an audience of 28 million in the United States. In 1999, Wilsey won the Bent Spoon Award from the Australian Skeptics for Signs from God. The rationale for Wilsey receiving the award was that the show was 
seeking to capitalize on the irrational millennial fears of many people. In 2002, Woolsey became the 19th inductee into the TV Week Logies Hall of Fame. On 21 August 2006 Woolsey appeared on Andrew Denton's TV show Enough Rope and spoke about his dedication to discovering what science can ascertain about the Shroud of Turin, specifically, whether it contains the blood of Jesus Christ. In 2012, Woolsey joined the Seven Network Sunday night to do high-profile interviews. His first encounter was with Prime Minister Julia Gillard. In early 2013 he interviewed billionaire casino owner James Packer. Personal life Wilsey's parents were Don Wilsey, a Labour senator and foreign minister in the Whitlam government, and his wife Gwendolyn. His brother is journalist and TV presenter Terry Wilsey. He is the father of fellow journalists Amy Wilsey and Michael Wilsey Jr. and has another daughter Joe Wilsey. He is the father-in-law of presenter and reporter Alison Langdon and journalist and writer Mark Whitaker. His second wife was Australian actress Carol Wilsey. She was originally cast in the role of Pippa Fletcher in Home and Away, and had filmed scenes for the pilot episodes. She died in 2006, aged 59, from Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease after being misdiagnosed. In 2017, Wilsey spoke about his battle with throat cancer on the ABC TV program Australian Story. He also revealed how he had returned to his Catholic faith after years away the church. On 1 March 2019, Wilsey died of the disease at the age of 76. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries Would you like to know more?